Hey everyone, Brian Mole here, Team Love Knife, with my fourth installment in my series of videos on how to streamline your digital life. In the first video, we covered essential Chrome plugins. In the second video, we talked about password management. And in the third video, we talked about tracking your time. You know, all three of those are basics. But today I want to share share with you one of my favorite apps, one of my favorite programs that I use to manage projects. I mean, this is my project management system. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Trello. Um, in the past, there's been a number of different project management systems I've used, Basecamp, 5PM software, Asana. To this day, I still feel that Trello is by far the simplest and lightest way to manage a team, to manage personal projects. And I'm gonna jump in here and show you how I use Trello to, to manage various projects. Um, as you can see here, you can divide your, your, your boards into different categories. And Trello is like a giant whiteboard with sticky notes that you can move around. But these sticky notes are on steroids. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna jump into my Civic board. This is a board that I specifically use to track what I'm gonna be doing to my car. Um, I did a lot of performance enhancements over the years and there's still things that I wanna do. And I use this board to show what it's like to have a picture-based Trello board. Um, each one of these has a pick of parts that I want to put in either on my suspension or on my engine. I can click in here and it has the picture. It also has uh, some links and maybe some uh, notes that I grabbed online, but ultimately this is where I'm housing all the information I need to put this part on my car. And I've done that with a number of items, save pictures, maybe save links. This is a great way for me to see visually what I want to do to my car, what's, what's up and coming. Um, Super helpful. This is a great example of a picture-based board. Um, I started a board for Aiden, and he is doing his Eagle Scout project, and he has to sand and paint every fire hydrant in the Shillington area. And I showed him how he could use a Trello board to manage his project. And for the first two fire hydrants, I created it, uh, a column, took a picture of the unfinished hydrant. I even put a uh, but when, for this one, I just have a, a, a picture and the actual address and then the after shot. So this is what it looked like after the first coat. Um, I encouraged him to use his system to manage his project because he needs materials. And while I was out helping this day, I started making a, a, a list of all the materials that he needed. So I'm not sure if he's using this. So I think he might have created his own. But, you know, this is this is a prime example of using Trello on a non-digital marketing project. Um, I also use Trello to document thoughts. So here's a pretty robust board. Um, this was notes when I worked at the agency. You know, here's notes on my local visibility program. The different, here's a here's a, a sticky note, or I could say a Trello board note that includes a checklist. As I would get these items done, I could check them off and uh, know where I'm at with that particular card. Um, I would, I would use these a lot just to keep myself on track. And if you notice, I had a naming convention here. So this is Google My Business dash create account slash claim profile. So just at a glance at this card, I could see that this had to do with, with a particular project and what the next two steps are just by the way I named them. Um, I'd use green and colors to designate items that I need to be working on right away. Um, and here I have a checklist of blog post ideas. I even have... Um, some notes about things I want to do. This is really just a, do, a, a, a repository of ideas for me. Um, here's my favorite Chrome plugins. You saw that how that video take place. Uh, here's a, a board that I or a column that I have for an SEO training program. And here's all my pre prerequisites and plugins and the all the things that I want to talk about through my different lessons. Um, I have a training column where these are all just links to blog posts that I want to read. You know, I can easily bring these up, and as soon as I'm done with this blog post, I can come in to Trello and archive it. So when I'm done with one, I can come over and archive. Um, this comes in super handy. You can move these cards around. So if I wanted this one over here and I wanted this one here, you know, that's that's not a problem. It's actually meant for that. I know people who run Trello boards where it's step one, two, three, four, five, and then they put all the completed items over here. Um, so let me show you one that's in action. Um, this is the current SEO board for where I work. Um, the items in yellow are assigned to other people. The items in red means that I am held up for some reason. 
items in green are ones that I'm working on. You can attach due dates so I know that I need to do this backlink profile and I no longer need Matt because I'm going to do my own research. So keeping true to my naming conventions where I have my task, my first step, my second step. You can have due dates. You can have checklists. Um, if you have team members in here, you can assign team members to task and they'll have a little icon on there. Um, comes in quite handy you know, if you are assigning uh, tasks to other people. So this is, this is just super helpful for managing my, my digital life. I mean, for Isolator, I have many different categories from social media to email marketing, daily tasks. Sometimes I leave the pictures on here. Here's a new line of bags that we're going to be rolling out. So I'm thinking about where we go to pre-sale. What's the Facebook audience campaign? What are we going to do for email? This list will build as I get more ideas. Um, so I heavily encourage everybody to use this. If you're working with me on a Love Knife project, we will be using Trello boards. So that was probably maybe the one of the reasons why you're watching this video. But if not, I highly encourage you to, to use this and not get frustrated. There's people that get in here and they start to use Trello boards and they get a little frustrated because they just they, they, they can't handle all the, the, the options or they just are not diligent enough about uh, how they're managing their digital life. So I would suggest using this program, sticking to it. And what I love the most is when I worked at an agency, I would roll to the meeting with just my Microsoft Surface and Trello on there. And the boss would try to ask me about a project and try to get me to see if I didn't know what was going on on any number of my projects. And you know what? I knew what was going on because all I had to do is click into one of these cards and I knew exactly where that specific piece of a project was at. So it actually helps with life because you don't have to remember everything because he's put it in your Trello board so that you are organized to deal with it later. So one of the best apps out on the internet right now as far as managing uh, projects, and uh, I hope you decide to use Trello. So thank you for listening. Brian Mole, over and out.